Oh right, this is just my very basic chicken curry. Um, to start with I've got uh, two and a quarter pounds, one kilogram of chicken thighs which I've chopped up into bite-sized pieces and cut through the bone as well. If you don't want to use the bone, uh, fillet it away from the bone, cut it into bite-sized pieces and use a stock cube along with a sauce. All right, you'll need to use a chicken stock cube. I, I won't be doing it on this one, and I don't usually because I just cut through the bone like you see here. You'll need two medium-sized brown onions. I've taken half of one and chopped it much the same as the others, um, but that one is cooking separately because this is this one and a half uh, brown onions chopped up is going into the blender along with, I'm adding to that two ice cubes worth of chopped fresh ginger which I've just frozen and six cloves of garlic and we'll get that all into the blender right now. So that's in my food processor now and into that I want to put, I'm using my favourite curry powder, use whichever one you like but an ordinary madras curry powder is perfectly good for this and then I'm going to add one Two. I'm going to add three teaspoons of that because I want it nice and spicy this one. Three of those. This is a very very basic chicken curry. I've also got on the side I've got some about a teaspoon of panch paran and some cinnamon, um, some chopped up broken up cinnamon stick and I've got some tomato paste. Now I've got about what two tablespoons full and I'll just put that in there along with all this. You may need to add a little bit of water to the to the, the vegetables here and, uh, and spice mix. You may need to add that uh, just to get it all ground up but don't add too much, only add as much as you need because we're going to be frying that down. All right we've got that back, that's nicely uh, mashed up. You don't need to be too finicky about it, a couple of bits of lumps in it like that doesn't really matter. Uh, and in fact it's uh, probably kind of desirable in the finished curry. So now we need to get on, fry this paste and then let's get our curry made up. Alright my pan's coming up nicely to heat. I'm just going to drop in some coconut oil and let that melt. And into my hot oil goes my panch paran and cinnamon and swirl that around, let that sizzle. Now it starts to pop. The next thing in there needs to go my curry paste. And I keep the pot like that because then I'll ju I just add a bit of water into that uh, for adding to the dish and get that stirring. Now this is a rather important stage in making a curry, at least in this way, and that is to fry down the curry paste, the onions, the garlic, the ginger. Uh, and in this case I've got uh, curry powder in there and the um, tomato paste and I fry that right down until it starts to separate again so the fat you'll see start to separate and you get a characteristic very sweet smell come up, comes out. Be patient, stir and fry, make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom. When it begins to stick to the bottom you'll know you're getting fairly close to the time when we move to the next stage. Just keep stirring and frying. This whole process takes about seven minutes. But it's worth it for the results you get in the end. Just keep stirring and frying. So when it gets to the right time you can hear it as well as smell it and you get a rather sweet characteristic smell and as the oil starts to separate from the paste you get a sort of crackling sound so you can hear it and 
smell it. Now it's really starting to stick to the bottom of the pan and starting to separate out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to introduce about a shot glass full of water and then stir that in and allow it to deglaze the bottom of the pan and wait till it starts to fry down again. Now this process doesn't take very long, it takes about three or four minutes. And the reason we do that is to get that, everybody says that a curry tastes better on the second day. Well this kind of shortcuts to that process, you actually get a kind of second day taste on it on the day you're cooking. And then it'll be even better tomorrow. You'll see a lot of uh, water vapour steam coming off it as it boils down but that's really when it's starting to work. So now we're getting to that stage where it's starting to stick to the bottom again and it's at this stage I add my onion. So that's the remaining half an onion that goes in. Then all my chicken, that goes in, in you go, and then we get stir that to mix. Now depending how hot you like it, you can add some extra hot pepper here, and I'm just adding these, these are medium hot uh, Asian uh, peppers which have been dried and I just add those in at this stage and then we we stir and fry that for a few minutes just for a minute or two to get a turn on that chicken all this frying is done either at high heat or medium high heat depending how confident you are that you can keep an eye on it but you do need to keep your eye on it it's really a very simple thing to do. Once you've uh, done it a few times, you'll just do it by rote. It'll just be that simple to you. I leave the skin on, but you, there's nothing to stop you taking the skin off as well if you don't like skin or bones. But do remember to add a stock cube when you add the liquid to it. A simple chicken curry curry guy is probably one of the most popular dishes in the entire world and I, I just like it to keep it fairly simple you know for my everyday curries uh, but I do occasionally splash out and use different ingredients but this is my my go-to comfort food chicken curry re recipe really simple and super tasty all right, so I've got a nice turn on that chicken, and what I've done is I've added water to the uh, bowl in which I blended all my curry paste, and I'm just going to add that water now till it comes up to the level of the chicken. So just wing it, do it by eye. If it isn't quite enough, just add a bit more water, and that should be just about right. And we don't use any thickeners in this, we just let this cook down now. So just let that cook, let that bubble away. And in about 20 minutes, that is going to be ready. It's going to be really quick and easy because that chicken doesn't take long to cook through. And then you've got yourself a delicious curry. Okay, that's been bubbling away for a couple of minutes. Let me just get in there, have a taste, see if I need to adjust. You need to taste and adjust. Well, it needs a bit more salt. So I'm gonna put in a pinch of sea salt. Use kosher salt. Sea salt or Himalayan salt, which is really good. And you get a good flavor from it. So, now that's come to a fast simmer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn that down to a really slow simmer and I'm going to cover that for a few minutes and then I'll get back to you. 
All right, I ended up letting that simmer for quite longer than I expected. So let's have a look what we got. Lovely. That's perfect. Now, if you like it thicker, you just allow it to reduce with the lid off for a bit longer. But I'm going to serve it just like that, and my brother's going to have that with some rice. And I'm just going to add a bit of coriander to that. I'm using frozen fresh coriander. Pretties it up. And that's now ready to serve. If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.